はようございます。寒いですね。ついにマイナスに寒いですね。寒い。ここはフランストロワですね。はい。いつものイビスバジェットに泊まっておりました。したね、はい。さあ、今日はどこに行くのかな。シャンパーニュ。シャンパーニュですね。シャンパーニュ行っちゃいますね。楽しみです。また寒、また一段寒いでしょう、ね。今多分ここマイナス2度くらいでしょう。<笑>今なんか車も凍りついてる。ですね、まずはマルゲに行ってきます、はいえー、マルゲ行った後に、はいえー、どっかで行ければいいかなと思ってるんですけども、まあ、最終その次が、えー、アンリジロに16時,時そして最終目的地はあるシャンパンハウスに行ってきますでは行ってます、はい、ここはアンボネーかなはい到着しましたと、お昼無事だね。本当だ。おお、シャンパーニュの街でございます。さあ、間もなく着きますよと。ここ右ですね。ずっと。目的地に到着しました。お疲れ様でした。歩けって書いてありますね。歩けです。はい、かわいいました。着いたね。このね、奥から入っていくから、素敵なが。ボイロー。ナイスミチュー。ナイスミチュー。はい、ベルは。あ、ええ、徹夜裏側。オッケー。ナイスミチュー。ナイスミチュー裏側。ウェルカム。ああ、やっ、thank you。you are only free。yes it is。シャンドって書いてありますね。あれを。おじさん買うと近くのスーパーより高いんだよ。歩く以外に散策の仕方はないですね。これ何通りか。見つけた。日本でも多いやろ。可愛い,いチーズ屋を見つけたので、入ってみます。はい、買っちゃいましたね、ちょっとゴルゴンゾーラのドルチェとかね、最高だよねドロドロでしたね教えてもらったシャンパーニュのお店ですちょっと行ってみましょうはい、行きましょうフェルシエヌだコスパ最高のいいコスパ最高のいいもん。買いましたよ。何買っ,った？何買っちゃったか？聞いちゃうの？クセロスとエグリウリエをゲットしました
あるんですねあるところにあるんですねでもびっくりですねまあそれなりのねお,お値段ではございますけどもアンボネですアンボネですジャクセさんアンボネですねまあ買えないですからねシグスタンスすごいちょっと楽しみでございますねでは今ちょうど3時ぐらいですかね今そうですねそろそろじゃあ次の目的地であるジロアンリーはいアンリーへ行ってまいりますではではおいじゃあもうちょっとねアンリージローついちゃいます。おここじゃんこれちょっといいと思うよおあらららら、あらおしゃれな G があるわねあそこにね。もう帰るパターンだな。あ超高級です。はいアンリジローにおります。つくなり池の氷を割り始めた新次郎です。<笑><笑>寒いね。さあちょっと中に行ってみましょうか。<笑>はい行きましょう。はい。Okay, so here you can have a look to the vineyard of Ai. Yeah.、Uh, so Ai is a very famous village for、oh, champagne. Oh. Uh, first, because we have a self exposed vineyard,、yes. and we also have a specific soil 20 centimeters of earth,、mm -hmm. 200 meters of chalk.、Ooh. So, it gives a lot of saltiness to the wine. Yeah, But only you are、um, on the only village here in the region which is certified Grand Cru for the Pinot Noir and the Chardonnay, both. Uh, but Ai is more famous for its Pinot Noir, which represents、uh, 70% of the vineyard.、Mm -hmm. The rest is all Chardonnay.、Oh, yeah. So we only work with two types of grapes here、mm -hmm. and not three. Oh, no Meunier. No Meunier in Ai.、Okay. So、uh, the big majority of the grapes that we use are coming from Ai, so we choose to don't use any Pinot Meunier in our wine.、Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And this is also a very important village for the family because here you are on a family domain.、Mm -hmm. And the elder ancestor we know from this family is François Aymar, born in 1625 here in Ai.、Mm -hmm. So it's a big part of the history of the family. Okay.、Mm -hmm. ありがとうございます。<笑>ありがとうございます。おお。おお。So like I said, the family is very attached to the village, but also to the region in general.、Mm -hmm. So now we are working with two different terroirs. The first one is Ai, of course. The second one is the Arvon Forest, which is the most historic forest in the region. Mm -hmm. uh, so, in fact, before the Second World War, almost all the Champagne growers were working with this forest、mm -hmm. to make the old barrels because it was the traditional way to make champagne.、Yes. Uh, but、um, after the war, people started to drink more champagne, it became more and more popular. So, that's why the Champagne growers started to work with steel.、Uh, so, we have also made a very big investment in steel at this period. But in 1990, when Claude g i r a u d took the head of the company, He decided to come back to the traditional way to make champagne and to come back to the excellence of the Champagne's wine.、Uh, in fact, for Claude Giraud, the Champagne is first a great wine before adding the bubbles. So, the wine、um, part, so the vinification, is the most important and you have to work very hard on it.、Um, so,、uh, this idea to come back to the traditions、uh, appeared in、uh, 1990s. Uh, and we achieved the goal to stop completely the use of steel for the vinification in 2016. So it, it took more than 20 years、mm -hmm. um, to experiment a lot of different things and to have a very mature way to work around the wood.、Uh, because today we are only working with、um, wood coming from the Arden Forest、uh, because、uh, we want to grow in the region first, but also because the wood in this region. Uh, in this forest, is very, very、uh, qualitative.、Um, it has a very、um, 
high quality because first the soil is very poor so the trees need a lot of time to grow up and when we pick the trees uh, for the barrels they are minimum 200 years old um, so very old tree but they are very small for their age um, and they are very dense and mature so it's very interesting to work with this wood but also the forest is like this so there are a lot of different expositions to the sun and the characteristics of the wood change depending on the place uh, the tree is. So it's very interesting to work with the forest. Mm -hmm. um, so the family has studied a lot this forest and actually they are able to choose the trees they will need for the barrels depending on the flavors they want. So it's a huge work of researches and experimentation. Um, but today, every year, the team goes to the forest and they choose the trees. Oh, choose the trees? Yes. In fact, we use the barrels not to give only an oaky taste to the wine. Mm -hmm. We use the oak to give other flavors mm -hmm. to the wine and to, um, to make the terroir of Ai even better. Mm -hmm. So uh, we use new oak, mm -hmm. uh, new oak barrels, sorry, mm -hmm. and we use it only six years. So it's very, very short. Mm -hmm. uh, some houses are using barrels 60 years, for example. Mm -hmm. But here we want it new and, and young because we choose the trees for some characteristics and we consider that after the six years, it disappears. Mm -hmm. So we remove the barrels. We will see it after. Oh, yeah. So a word again about the Arden Forest. It's a public one. So um, we have had a partnership. We can't buy any part of the forest. We can't buy any tree. Um, but we cut trees every year and we also replant trees. And we are part of the protection program of the forest. We give money to uh, protect this forest every year. Oh. <laughs> so there are two main reasons why we decided to stop the use of steel. Yes. The first one is because steel um, is always in very, very big stores. Mm. Um, and we think that a big wine has to be made in a little continent because it allows a better contact between the yeast and the wine. So actually we are only working with little continent and the biggest we use are the concrete eggs. There are 600 liters. 600 liters. so much compared to the, yeah. the steel tanks. Mm -hmm. And the second reason is because steel is a dead material. It's a very mm -hmm. neutral one. Mm -hmm. uh, so it doesn't add anything to the wine in terms of flavors. Um, we wanted to produce a wine which reminds us the terroir. So steel mm -hmm. was too neutral for us. And also, it's not natural at all, so it mm. doesn't match with this new philosophy. Mm -hmm. uh, so like I said, the first step was to reuse the oak barrels in the 1990s, and we had to find another solution to be able to replace the steel at 100%, uh, because barrels give a lot of complexity to the wine, yes. and honestly, all the juice don't have the characteristic to go to the oak barrels. Uh, so we had to find something else. And we started in 2009 with this concrete egg. 2009, okay. Um, at the beginning, it was more for the shape uh, than the material, because mm -hmm. in this shape, thanks to the gravity, the wine moves naturally like this, yes. constantly. So it allows yes. a perfect blending between the yeast and the wine nice. every time. Uh, you have to know that there is nothing between the concrete and the wine. They are mm. directly in contact. So concerning the shape, we were very happy, and we were also the first to introduce the shape mm -hmm. in the region. Mm -hmm. uh, concerning the material, it was good, but a little bit too mineral for the mm -hmm. cellar master. Mm -hmm. So we keep using these eggs, but just for a very small part of the production. Okay. And the only concrete eggs we have today are these four. Ah, oh, okay, okay. You, see, you have a lot of them? Uh, we just have four in hey. concrete. Okay. Uh, and what you see here are amphora. Yeah. Uh, amphora? Are, oh, it's amphora. Okay. Yeah, they are coming from Italy. They are made in terracotta. Okay, uh, terracotta. Yes. Okay. The, only hand, the only one we have, again, are these three. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we use it only to make the red wine we will add on the rosé. So there, oh. is, there is just red steel pinot noir from Ali in this one. Okay. We will use it for the blending mm -hmm. to make the rosé. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so as the concrete was too mineral, we decided to make other experimentations, and mm -hmm. now we are working with sandstone. Sandstone? So sandstone is the purest material we point for the moment. Uh, we are very happy of the result, and we really want to develop um, the production with sandstone. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, all the, ha the eggs you have here, they are all in sandstone, even if the color changed. Uh, so the original color of the sandstone are the white eggs, yes. uh, and the others are painted with samples of the argon forest soil. Oh, so yeah. this is the soil of the argon forest. It's a, it's a very red one. Mm. So uh, sandstone comes very pure mm -hmm. uh, and also very light in terms of flavors. Mm -hmm. um, so it's pretty good and perfectly what we were searching for because. Uh, it's not neutral, you can feel a difference in the wine, but it stays very light. Mm. And it allows us to balance between the complex side with the barrels and the, the, the light side with the eggs. Mm. So we really want to develop it. Hmm. Very nice. Why, car, why change to the yeah, soil, soil color? Yes, is and the white one is the, the color of the sandstone, the natural yeah, one. Yeah, I know, I know. but then why is there the two type? So maybe only uh, white or only yeah, chairo, <laughs> gray, yeah. Brown. Only brown. Why you have the two color? Two colors. Yeah. Why That's you have? Two. Because we wanted to keep some uh, white eggs to show you the natural color. Of ah, it. Okay. <laughs> okay. It doesn't change anything to the wine because it's just. Yes, uh, it yes, I know. It's just painted in this side. Yes, the it is. The other side stays the same yeah. for all the eggs. I know, I know. But then, yeah, okay, thank you. Oh. 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 So I don't know if you remember, but I explained that we are using only trees which are minimum 200 years old because before they are too small. So this one is a 180 years old oak coming from the Argon Forest. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you have a lot of oak where you live, but this is very small for 180 years old. Mm -hmm. Because usually in French they are more like this at mm -hmm. this age. So this one is too young to become a barrel, but it gives you an idea of the size the trees we use <laughs> and also of the density. Okay. And as we choose the trees directly for the barrel, Hi. we have like a traceability program and for each barrel we know where was the tree on the forest. Mm -hmm. So we ask the barrel maker to put a lot of information on one barrel. Okay. First the name of the forest. Mm -hmm. Uh, here, Chatrice is the name of a part of the Argon Forest because the oh. Argon Forest is a huge one. Yes. So it's cut in different little parts and they all have their own name. Mm. Here you have the date of the cut yes. of the tree and the date of the fabrication of the barrels. Wow. So you can see three years between these dates is Why? the time the wood needs to dry. Ah, it is, it is, it is. It is. And That's here, cool. TC, meaning Tonnellerie de Champagne, yes. is the last barrel maker of the region. Mm. So to give you an idea, before the Second World War, there were more than 100 in mm -hmm. the region. Now, one left. Oh, just one left? Yeah, you wow. can imagine that oak barrels are not very common anymore mm. in Champagne. Yes. So we keep the barrels only six years, and after that we try to recycle everything. So we have more than 1,000 barrels on this domain, mm -hmm. and we change approximately 20% per year. Mm. Um, concerning the recycle, the recycling, um, every year is different, depending on the needs. Mm. Sometimes we work with artists who need wood. Mm -hmm. uh, we also make some furnitures for the boutique, for example, knives mm -hmm. made with the, the recycle of barrels. Actually, you're selling the, some stuff up yes. there, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, and we also have some partnership with different uh, spirit producer, mm -hmm. and for example, a sake producer in Japan who is using our barrels to make the sake. Yeah, which sake product? Um, the name is Mo. Uh, I have to verify. 
want to tell you something wrong. Oh, yeah. Uh, and the press? So we have two presses. This one is 8,000 kilo, and another <laughs> right there is 4,000. 4,000. So now they are sleeping, but they are working only two weeks per year. Yes, it's, uh, I know. During the harvest. Yes. <laughs> but during the harvest, we never stop pressing, so it's day and night. Ah. Wow. Just for two weeks and a very high cost payment. <laughs> it's really, it must be so expensive, I thought. Wow. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's So this one is the same composition and same vinification and also the same aging than the MV30. Yeah. The only thing that changed is the, the quantity of red wine we add inside. So there is 8% of red steel Pinot Noir coming from AI, made also in oak barrels. So it's not the one with the terracotta. アンリジロさん終了しましたね、フィドシェーヌね。そうですね。いや、さすがフィドシェーヌですね。美味しい。うん。そうなんだよな。今回ロドも提出させてもらいましたけど、すごかった。ちょっといろいろとね、考えるところ